Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave. Uh, today, I am talking about my ex some of my experiences at the Tucson Comic Con of 2023 uh, that happened on Labor Day weekend. There were a few artists there that two I'd never met and three that I'd met prior but had some stuff for. But I had never met um, Mr. Mark Morales. I, saw, I remember when I saw that he was announced, I Googled him. And I swear to God, the man inked everything Marvel did between 2008 and 2018. And then that kind of was confirmed when I was speaking with him. I'm like, yeah, I have a bunch of your stuff. He's like, yeah, I had a 10-year contract with Marvel. I'm like, well, that's awesome. So let's get to signing, sir. But let's uh, go through the floppies first because he did work for DC as well. He, uh, did, he inked one of the biggest comic books back in the day. What year was this? Oh, you're not giving me a year. 2006. Oh, my God. So he, he inked the uh, Batman Red Hood annual. Up there we got Shane Davis and then Mark Morales. And all I need is Mr. Judd Winnick to, to make a trip down, down south, west, and then the first printing. Which, oddly enough, I bought this first. I already have a first printing back behind me somewhere. Um, but I bought this first printing at Tucson Comic Con 2022. And now it's been cyclical and Mark Morales has signed it for me. And then this, I think my local comic book shop just messed up and sent me a second one or gave me a second one in my stash, which I don't mind because it's Batman. But I could have it signed. And I just need like 24 more signatures on there. Alan Burnett, Paul Dini, Ty Templeton, and whoever Kubina is. But what's funny is I've met Alan Burnett, Paul Dini, and Ty Templeton all at other comic cons. So it's not a huge deal that I meet them. But I like to get as many signatures on a book as humanely possible. All right, let's see how am I going to do this because I got a uh, now. Now I'm onto the hard covers, and this was uh, where I got my steps in because this gentleman inked a lot of shit. Spider Man twenty four seven. Mark Morales. Don't fall, motherfucker. The Illuminati. And he was talking about uh, Jim Chung. I guess he's going to see him at Baltimore Comic Con. I think next weekend or the weekend after, which is pretty cool. They were talking to each other. They said, and I'm like, man, why don't you bring him out here? I could bother him as much as I'm bothering you. Ink the new Avengers. This is cool because I got David Finch at Phoenix Fan Fusion and now Mark Morales. Can't wait to put all these back on the bookcase, even though I got a signing coming up in two weeks. I don't know when this video is going to air, but in two weeks I got another signing. Mark Morales. Yeah, and while I was there, he was inking a Batman book, which I thought was pretty sweet. Um, the War, the new War one, I don't, I don't have it yet. Well, I have it. It's just at my local comic book shop. Sorry, Young Avengers. This was one of my favorite series back then. I, I really like this. They haven't done much with it, or the characters other than Kate Bishop. But there were some interesting characters in it. Like where'd Patriot go? Where'd Kid Vision go? Where'd Baby Th Hulk go? And I think Warlock was the kid that looked like Thor. 2023. I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm back at it again. Like, it's been a bit since I've really gotten stuff signed. And I'm very happy. Oh, this one's st still kind of a bummer. Like, I took this to Phoenix Fan Fusion to have J. Michael Straczynski sign it. Obviously, only Mr. Mike Morales signed it because J. Michael Straczynski was very hard to get at that show. But when he was there, he would talk to you. And, like, he really didn't want to take the Mentos picture, but I still had him do it because that's who I am. All right, I got to move some more stuff. Sorry, my elbow's killing me. I've been doing too much manual labor. Ah, all right. New X-Men number one hardcover. Now, what sucks is I have the omnibus of this, but uh, Mr. Morales did not have a silver pen, and I was too tired after each day to go hit, hit the Walmart and grab a silver pen. So he couldn't. He had to sign it like right there. What I, I like to have it on, the, on the, the right front page, but didn't stick. You know, it actually looks pretty good. Now, I kind of regret not having him sign the other five books I had, but... I think he was tired of, tired of seeing my fat ass, which uh, you know, I'm, I get tired of seeing my own fat ass, and I have to live with my fat ass. Secret Invasion, the story that bombed on Disney+, Plus because they don't know how to do shit anymore. I'm, I'm just speaking the truth, everyone. You can hate me all you want. I don't care. Rise and fall of the Sharar Empire. Yeah, I got, I got more. This is the first stack. I have to pause the filming. This was a bummer, too, because at Phoenix Fan Fusion, I had this pulled out for Alan Davis, and I forgot it, and I never went back to Alan Davis. 
So I'd have three signatures in here instead of two, but I got two and I'm still happy about it. That's Scott Collins that I got on free comic book day of 2023 and Mark Morales. Now I gotta go get some more books. Let me pause this for one brief second. As you can see, this is the other stack. Like this poor man had a sore hand afterwards, but a full wallet. Let's see what we got. Young Avengers, the super mega book. Still, I, I can't wait till Jim Chung shows up to a show, even though it's going to be a full box for him of hardcovers. What we got here? Oh, the Avengers disassembled. Now, did I get Finch to sign? Ah, oh, I didn't get Finch to sign this one because I was running out of money at Phoenix Fan Fusion. But hopefully he'll be back. Oh, and then, I don't know. Bendis and Marvel were great. Bendis and DC were not so great. And once again, I couldn't get Finch on this because I just couldn't afford it at the time. Ten bu five bucks a pop is okay. Ten is hard. Ten is very hard to do when you have so many copies of these books. I mean, I've, I dwindled them down. And then I picked up an awesome 9.8 Moon Knight CGC for $35 that... If uh, if Finch does another signing, that's going. Hopefully, it'll keep the grade. I don't want to get it pressed because it looks like it may have been pressed already. New Avengers Volume 2. And I didn't get Howard Chaikin in here either because I think Howard Chaikin worked on this one. Oh, maybe not. It was the next one. No, that's number three. It was Howard Chaikin. And he was 10 bucks a pop too. And it's like, oh, I got to triage the important books. I mean, you can you can look back in my on my uh, comic book, New Avengers Volume 2. I always got both covers because I'm OCD. Don't fall, don't slide. What we got here's New Avengers number three. Yeah, this is the one that Howard Shake and I just couldn't couldn't pull it off. I needed a bit more money. But by the time the next cons roll around, the roof will be paid off. So that's always a bonus. And I liked uh, the ultimate ultimate stuff before it got too convoluted, but this was a fun Fun thing. I am bummed out that the Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer used this Galactus and not Badass Galactus. They used the little Nanite Galactus. I'll just bring Mark Millar for that because Mark Millar is just hitting a thousand right now. So, it's your fault, Mr. Millar. And finally, the last book for poor Mr. Morales X Men Nation X. Mark Morales. This was good. And I, I should. Oh, man. I should have had Alan Davis sign this one too. Gosh darn it. I hate it when I miss stuff. Or did he, he, I thought I didn't do it because he only did the cover. I'm just reading real quick. Yeah, he only did the cover. Okay. So now I don't feel so stupid. So I knew the cover was his, but I don't know. The guy was kind of salty at me at Phoenix Fan Fusion. But I don't know. You can be salty when you're Alan Davis. I mean, Goat. Uh, but yes, that is some of the stuff I got signed at Tucson Comic Con. What about you? Uh, did you see me there? Did I whiz by you like a Sherpa holding all my books? Let me know in the comments. Because um, it's sometimes it's hard to find me at a convention because I don't stay in the same spot very long unless I'm in a line. And lines were not that bad at this con, which was great. I think I waited the longest for the last book I got signed with uh, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. Because I didn't get a personalized book. I needed a personalized book. But uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and talk to me in the comments. I like talking about comics, obviously. 